Hi writers. Welcome back for another week of writing. That's my dog Bolt in the background. Also, today you'll notice I'm wearing a hat as I teach this. I don't know about you, but my hair is out of control. So here we go. Another week of writing. This week we are still focusing on fiction writing. This is Ben 2 of Unit 4. We get to move into series writing now. You've been developing characters, you've been coming up with fiction stories, but now, this week, you are going to start making your own series. I'm really excited about that. Ben 2's title is Fiction Writers Set Out to Write Series. Today's focus is going to be mini lesson six in the unit. Series writers always have a lot to write about. So get ready. Today's video will hopefully get you started in your series. Okay, writers, here we go. Mini lesson six. As I mentioned, you will become an author of a series this week. Friends, you already know lots of series. You know Poppleton and Biscuit, Captain Underpants, Mercy Watson, Dogman, Junie B, Judy Moody, Stink, Bink and Golly, one of my favorite series, the Mother Bruce series. This week we are going to work on becoming series writers and thinking a lot about it. But first, before we start moving into becoming series writers, I want you to think about some of the things you've already been doing. You've already been getting right to work on your fiction. You've been starting stories on your own. You've been creating pretend characters. You've been getting those characters into trouble and stretching the trouble down the pages. Then you've been fixing the trouble by the ending of your stories and that helps your readers be satisfied. And another thing you've been doing is you've been using everything you know from writing to write more. You've been writing lots and lots and lots of stories. Because of all this hard work, we, your first grade teachers, think you are ready for something new. So your teaching point today is this. Writers, today, I want to teach you that sometimes when writers imagine a character they really like, they stick with that character for a bit and create more than one story around him or her. Let's think about my favorite series by Ryan T. Higgins, Mother Bruce. Here's Bruce with some baby geese. Mother Bruce. Mother Bruce with his geese and his friends from the forest, the mice. Hotel Bruce, you'll notice Mother Bruce, the geese, the mice. Bruce's big move, again, you see the recurring characters. Ryan T. Higgins wrote many books in his series. This week, you're going to be doing something similar to that. And actually, it's not that different from what you were doing when you were narrative writers, when you were small moment writers. For those moments, you were the most important character. You often wrote about yourself, your friends and your family, your house and your pets, and you did it in a lot of your stories. Well, now you'll be writing a series of adventures, but they'll be about your new character. I want you to begin thinking of a series you might want to write. Like really picture it. Picture the box set by you. You, the famous young author. Here's a box set. Again, using my same example, the Bruce series written by Ryan T. Higgins. Hmm, as I think, I'm going to be writing the Nellie the Nudge series. I'm going to ask myself, and you will do this too, what do series writers do to come up with more than one story about a character that I can do too? 
Hmm. Let me think about this in the Bruce series by Ryan T. Higgins. What did he do? Oh, well, first of all, he came up with characters that are in every story. Bruce, the main character, is absolutely in every story. Characters like the geese or the mice or many of the other woodland creatures appear in each and every Bruce book. Another thing he did, he made sure that each book was a different day. One tool you will be able to use to help you write these series books is how to write series books fiction. Series fiction book. This anchor chart will be included in your plans. It's entitled how to write series books. And much like we just talked about, it instructs you to use the same pretend characters, start a new day or night in each story, sometimes have things happen in the same place, maybe include the same pet or friend or sister or brother, and write different adventures. Okay, it's time to get to work. As I mentioned before, let's think of a series that you've read or watched that has the same character in it. Now, think about a few of the episodes in this series. What do series writers do to come up with more than one story about a character? Here are some ideas. As we mentioned again before, have things happen in the same place, include the same friend, pet, sister or brother, write different adventures. Before we can get started on this though, we must make a plan as a writer. I really want you to make a plan before you get to work. So the first part of the plan that I want you to do is think of a character you'll be writing about. I already told you that mine was going to be Nellie the Nudge. Then I want you to remember these are pretend characters. We like writing about ourselves, but fiction is make-believe. So you're going to be thinking about pretend characters. The next thing I want you to do in your plan is remember all the things fiction writers do, and you will have an anchor chart to help you remember that. And then I want you to begin writing the first book in your series. Before I send you off to write, I want to share my example of book one in my series. Nellie the Nudge and the Drainage Pipe. One sunny and warm spring afternoon, Nellie and her sidekick Peanut, a giant Labrador retriever, were taking an afternoon walk. Nellie said to Peanut, Let's go exploring. Nellie would soon forget the words her mom instructed before Nellie and Peanut left. Have a nice walk, but please stay out of trouble, Nellie said. Not to worry, Mom. I'll stay on the path. Before they knew it, Peanut was sniffing and sniffing. He began tugging Nellie off the path. It was clear Peanut was on the hunt. What did this dog smell? Nellie remembered her mom's words. Stay out of trouble. Yet she was too intrigued. Before Nellie or Peanut knew it, they had gotten all the way to a giant drainage pipe at the bay. Peanut began barking frantically. What is it? Nellie asked Peanut. Woof, woof, woof. Peanut barked. He pulled Nellie more. He wanted her to go in the pipe. Nellie knew she shouldn't, but she had to. Nellie and Peanut crawled carefully in the pipe. As they got closer, they heard squeak, roof, squeak. Nellie muttered, what could it be? As they inched closer, she realized it was a seal pup. I can't believe it, Nellie told Peanut, to stay and guard the seal pup while she raced to get a lifeguard to help. The lifeguard was able to pull the seal out. Nellie and Peanut were heroes. They even were on the news. When they got home, Nellie's mom was proud, but not 
happy she left the path. There's book one in my story. I made up pretend characters. I included lots of details. I made up a pretend situation with a problem and trouble, of course. But then I had the problem resolved. Happy writing, get to work on book one. But remember, before you write, be sure to make a plan.